Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a class in Koala Go from both the teacher's perspective and from the student's perspective. That way you can see what the student also has to do to enter your class when you're ready to start a new class. So first of all, you have to log in to your classroom through the Koala website. And the website is teachwithkoala.com. So from here, you want to look for Koala Go. They do have another platform called Koala 3D, but the one that we are using with our students on iPads and tablets is going to be Koala Go. So from the main site, you can either click on Open Koala Go here or the button here, Try Koala Free. So I'm going to open Koala Go. Since I have already been using Koala Go, it automatically opens to my classroom. I don't have to log in every time unless I choose to sign out. And if it's your first time ever using Koala Go, you will have to log in or sign in for the first time. You can do that through an email or through Google. I prefer using Google. With the email, they will send you a link. You'll have to go into your email, click on the link to log in to Koala Go. With the Google, I just click on this, choose my Google account, and voila, I'm now in my classroom. So once I'm in here, as I see the first step I told is to sign in. Once you have signed in, your second step is to set up your classroom. So you're ready to teach your student. I like to get everything prepared in my classroom before class, whether that's a web page on the browser, whether that's an activity on my whiteboard, or a PDF already uploaded and ready to go. I'm not going to go into the specifics of setting up a classroom and using the different types of tools. I can do that in other videos. This one is just going to be about getting your classroom started with your student. So I have everything in my classroom set up and ready to go. My third step is to click on invite student. So up at the top left corner, it has the yellow button that says invite student. When I click on this button, two things are going to happen. First, maybe, there we go. So first, you're going to see your classroom link open up. This link will be the same for every student, every class, but it always pops up when you click on invite student. If you don't need the link because you've already sent it to that student, you can just close it. But if it's the first time teaching that student, you want to copy that link and send it to them. And you can send that link to them any way that works best for you and for the student. That could be on WeChat or that could be through email, but you have to give them that link so they can enter your classroom. And the second thing that will happen is your video will open. So now you're ready to go. Everything I need on my side has been done after I send the link to the student, of course. Now it's the student that needs to enter into your classroom. So now I'm gonna switch over to the student's view. So I'm going to use my iPad. So this is my iPad and I am in WeChat. So you can see here, I sent my classroom link to the WeChat. And of course I'm sending this to myself, but you would send this to your student's WeChat and the student is not going to click on this link. Unfortunately, the WeChat browser does not work with Koala Go. If they do try to click on it, I can show you really quick. I clicked on the link in WeChat and it says, sorry, Koala is only supported on Safari. Please copy this link and open it in Safari. I always tell my parents, before I even send them the link that they do not click on the link in WeChat, please copy and paste the link into the Safari browser. But as we all know, sometimes people don't read or follow the directions and they'll say, oh, I'll just click on it, no big deal. And then this will stop them and say, no, you cannot click on the link and use it through WeChat. So then they can copy the link on here or from their WeChat, they can hold down and they can click copy and then they have to exit out and then they open the Safari browser and then they will just paste 
and go. And you'll see here, I already have my Koala Go saved on as a favorite in my iPad. I always tell my parents, encourage them the first time that they go to the Koala Go and they copy and paste that link to save it as a favorite. That way they don't have to copy and paste that link every time. They only have to do it the first time and then they save it as a favorite. And then after that, all they have to do is click on, click on that little icon as their favorite. So the first time I'm going to paste and go. And this is what they will see when they copy and paste the link into Safari. Here, it will tell them to type in their name. The great thing is I'm seeing this in English because I live in the United States, but if your student is in China, this will be in Chinese for them. So they are able to read it and they don't have any misunderstandings. So here, I'm just gonna type in the word name and then they will click ask to join. You will notice on my side, here's my classroom, it says name would like to join. While the student is waiting for me to click accept here, they can play a game. So let's say I'm still teaching a student in the previous class and my next student is already trying to enter. I don't want to accept that because then I'm gonna have multiple students in a class together that should not be in a class. So this game, keeps them occupied. They can try to get all the animals while they are waiting for me to accept. Another thing to note is do not click reject unless the student, let's say they don't even have a class today. They're like, why is the student trying to enter my class? Then you can just click reject. But if they're just a little early, just leave this little bar at the bottom, wait until it's time for them to come into the class, and then you can click accept. So the student can play the game. Do, 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 do get all the points, and now I'm going to click accept. So here you can see on my side, nothing has happened yet. I'm still waiting. So let's take a look at what the student now sees. After I click accept, they still have to allow the microphone and camera to be used. So while I'm waiting, the student is clicking allow and Voila, let me mute myself here. Okay, so now here's my iPad. The student now sees me and themselves. And then here's my classroom. I could see me and my student. So now I am ready to start class. That is it. We are good to go. Everything is ready. I could see the student. The student can see me. Here is my next step. Click on accept when the student tries to enter. And your last step is to start class. If you have any questions about starting a class that I missed or you're still not sure about, or if you want me to go into more details about some of the features of Koala Go and using it with my student, just let me know and I would love to make some more videos for you. Bye everyone.